This is my Nikon Z8, probably one of the most exciting cameras to come out from Nikon from the last couple of years. In fact, I was so excited about it, I pre-ordered one as soon as it became available, and then I got one on the day of release. I was lucky enough to get one of the first cameras in the UK. I then spent the next few weeks going out, taking lots of landscape pictures, being very excited about it, and then at the end of June, I published my review video. And then something odd happened. I just stopped taking pictures stop making videos, which is quite odd when you get a new camera. So in this video, we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna answer the question, did the Z8 kill my photography? Or were there some other reasons I've not been about? And of course, cause I'm out here on a very blowy Dartmoor, I'm gonna be taking some landscape photographs with the Z8. First things first, capture landscape photographs because it's sunrise shoot today. So obviously got to prioritize on the photographs. Now I've come up to a location on Dartmoor that I'm reasonably familiar with, East Mill Tor. Now I've come here for a couple of reasons. This is my first video back in quite some time. So I'm trying to not put too much pressure on myself in terms of finding a new location, scouting out compositions. I thought if I come to East Mill Tour, I'll at least know what I'm doing. And there's pretty well only one composition I want to shoot here, so I'm not rushing about. So it's a bit of a, a safety blanket, a nice easy way for me to get back into to video making. And also the weather conditions here are actually looking quite good, dare I say. Mustn't put a curse on it. It is extremely windy, so you're probably going to see me filming, uh, only going to be filming in this direction because the wind is howling this way. So hopefully you can hear me over the mic. But I'm going to talk you through the composition anyway, talk about some bit more about the 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 the, the weather conditions, which oh, they're looking actually pretty sweet. I might might actually be okay this morning. I did come out with the intention this morning, I thought, well if I capture a photograph, I'll be happy, but if I get if I get a good photograph, I'm gonna be really happy. Okay, let's get the camera into position. Well, there's one thing you can always be sure on Dartmoor is that the weather will change quickly. Big shower came in overhead there. Gave me a bit of a soaking, I had to put the camera gear away. It's really a bit nerve wracking at the moment because just over there where the sun is just about to rise, that rain shower is just about to cover the gap where uh, the light would come up. But I think it might be all right. There's a bit of color that's popping up in the sky. Another bit of rain coming in there behind me. Or well, it's going to be touch and go whether I get a picture because if that gap disappears where the light's going to come, I'm not going to get any shot at all. But over there I can see the light touching the clouds. Oh, it's, it's just about there. Right, there's getting water over this lens again. I'm going to put the camera away and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But it's exciting, I'll give you that, it's exciting. Oh, the conditions are wild up here, but it's fantastic. These are the conditions I live for up in Dartmoor. These stormy conditions, there's rain showers coming in, the sun's coming up, it's lighting up the foreground. It's bloody brilliant. Right, while there's a break in the weather, let me talk you through my composition. Now, I'll do this quickly while the light is still going because you can probably see the, the kind of warm glow in my face. Just checking my microphones. It's all a bit chaotic this morning, but. Like I say, I'm loving it. So camera, right, got the Z8 in a vertical orientation and my composition is the one, I was probably the only one composition I like up here on East Mill Tour. We've got this pool of water here with the grasses in the middle. It's blowing in the wind at the moment. It's gonna be a bit of movement in the picture. I'm happy with that. And then I've got the East Mill Tour rock stack there. And I've got this, these clouds going across the sky at the moment. They're catching the light, they're bringing rain. It's all sorts of uh, excitingness to that. Excitingness, is that a word? I don't know. Uh, equipment wise, so I've got the Z8, got a vertical orientation. This is gonna be a nice long shot, get more of that foreground in. I'm using my case filter polarizer. Now I've not got it cranked up all the way. I don't wanna cut all the reflection out of that water pool because it goes too dark. Uh, so I wanna catch a little bit of the, the reflections from the sky. Uh, and then I've got the, the rock stack out there, which is just catching the light across its, its horizontal joint in there. It's a really nice composition. The sky, it makes it, what we're shooting at, oh, probably about F, F13, 
probably about a second exposure. That's going to get shorter and shorter as time goes along. I'm probably going to lose the light in a couple of minutes. So really, it's just a matter of keep on shooting and then hopefully one of these frames, it'll be different. Every frame's going to be different because of the sky. Um, but yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's cold, it's wet. I'm glad I brought my big winter jacket with me today, but yeah. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> it's so good to, to be back out taking photographs and bringing you along on the video adventure of Dartmoor. Right, that was an exciting morning of photography. Lots of changing weather conditions. I've got freezing hands, everything's a bit wet. But do you know what? It's those mornings that I kind of live for up here on Dartmoor. I just hope that the photographs are reflective of those dramatic conditions. So at the top of this video, I was gonna tell you what I've been up to, what, or certainly why I haven't been making, making videos. I won't go into too much details because it is quite personal, but kind of my world turned upside down in January and I was coping all right for a while. Um, you know, there's a sort of ups and downs as I've kind of re-established uh, my life again. And what happened is once I got myself back into a good place, back into a happy place, I kind of lost the desire to take photographs. And that kind of happened at the same time that I got the Z8. And you know, it is unusual when you get a new camera, you tend to get quite excited by it and you go out and take more pictures. But the actual opposite happened. I got the Z8, like I said, I published my review video and then I kind of I kind of just lost interest in photography. You know, even though my personal life was in quite a good place, it just didn't seem a priority. I just didn't have that desire to go out and, and make videos. And this went on for quite a few months and it became a little bit worrying that I wasn't taking pictures or going out and taking video. Um, so then finally, you know, um, something really positive happened in my in my life uh, to, to sort of counterbalance what happened in January. And that kind of got me um, going again in the photography. I was really encouraged and uh, then you know, I got a lot of support uh, and encouragement to get back into photography. So, and then what I found is what then I was while I was wanting to go out, I was getting really unlucky with the conditions. I was getting quite frustrated, quite angry with my photography, and I felt a lot of pressure uh, to to make videos and 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 to make uh, to create pictures. And I think I was putting too much pressure on myself. And again, the, the support that I was getting uh, kind of helped me rebalance that and kind of just take a, a step back uh, until I eventually got to this point here, where I've come out, I've made a video, I've captured some pictures, and I feel really good and I feel like I'm, I'm going to start getting the, the momentum back. So no, it wasn't really the Z8 that killed my photography. It was kind of just an unfortunate situation uh, or timing that you know, I've got this fantastic brand new camera uh, and then I just kind of lost my oomph to go out and, and take pictures. Um, but yeah, no, I've been getting a lot of, lot of support and that's been really encouraging, not only from the, the people in my, in my personal life, but actually I also have to thank all my subscribers and followers and people that uh, follow my photography who reached out to me over the last few months and you know because they noticed that I hadn't published videos or been putting up pictures and that's really kind of really nice actually to know that people actually know that you, you that you've been missing that you're, you're not there and they reach out to check that you're okay so you know who you are um, so a big thank you for everyone who showed their support uh, and recognized that I hadn't been about but yeah I've got a whole stack of videos sort of lined up and planned now. Uh, I've got a few episodes of On My Bookshelf coming up as well. So hopefully plenty more videos for me out here on Dartmoor.
right, the rain is back, and to be honest, it doesn't look like it's going away this time. And anyway, I've got all my pictures and I've said what I've needed to say. So thank you again so much for joining me and for all your support. I'm going to get some new videos out really soon. But in the meantime, if you want to watch some more content from myself, I've got loads of videos from Dartmoor and stuff featuring the Z8. I'll put some playlists up in the corner of the screen. But until the next video, I shall see you then.